Hey guys, welcome back to My Divine Timing Tarot. Uh, this reading is going to be a prediction read for all Libras for the month of June 2022. Uh, keep in mind, uh, not every single message is for uh, you. Just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind here. I will be using two decks. I'll start off with the Kipper deck and give some random predictions here and then I'll move on to the tarot deck and give uh, more specific messages. Spirit guides, please connect me with all Libras. Connect me with all Libras right now, Spirit guide, And tell me predictions, give me some predictions for Libras for the month of June 2022, please. Three more shuffles. Predictions for my Libras for the month of June 2022, Spirit Guys. Thank you. Predictions for my Libras for the month of June 2022. I feel like there's some something changing at home here. Uh, whether you guys are moving this month, uh, others of you are working very hard in order to move. Uh, possibly you're tr you're working hard uh, towards some sort of down payment or some sort of payment uh, to make to to be able to move. Um, maybe some of you could be moving this month. Others of you are just working hard um, to get to 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 be able to purchase a home. Um, others of you could be renovating your home as well this month. Re-renovating. Buying furniture. It's a big change at home here. Some of you guys um, are dealing with someone um, that is being dishonest with you or using you. Let's see who this person is. Spirit guides, please um, clarify the false person, please. It's somebody who you're not thinking about. Like you would never think that this person would, would betray you or be disloyal with you or dishonest who's this person spirit guides yeah and then we even got thief and mature man some of you it's it's um it's it's a male figure I feel like it is a male figure whether it's your friend whether it's somebody that you're involved with currently um in love Maybe for one of you, uh, this person um, that you were um, connected with, this person could have wanted to take something. They could have, maybe they were after you for your house or something about taking furniture or taking something along those lines, like taking something from your home. And there could have been some sort of police involvement or you're possibly looking um, to get some sort of advice with a lawyer on how to deal with this sort of issue, whether you're living with them or not. Some of you, I, I keep getting something to do with a home. Uh, whether you're talking to a salesperson, whether you're talking to a lawyer or signing something with a lawyer, like finishing something up with a lawyer in order to purchase a home, getting some sort of advice here. Clarify the house card, spirit guides. Some of you guys are really stressed out at home. Uh, maybe some of you guys are losing a home as well this month. It could go both ways here. 
there's a big change um, at home here. Clarify the poverty card, Spirit Guides. Yeah, I feel like if you're waiting on some sort of settlement to come through, I feel like you're going to receive some sort of money here. Others of you, um, if you are living with this person, it's like you're really stressed out at home with this person. And this there's a big change here, whether you have to move out or whether they're moving out or whether they're trying to take something here. Um, from you like something is not being fair here at home let's get one more card tell me about the chain spirit guides Hmm. I'm going to dig in with the tarot cards to get more insight here as to what is going on. Those were just random predictions. Like I said, not everything is going to resonate with every single one of you. And, you know, not all messages are for you as well. Spirit Guides, please connect me with all Libras right now and give me some predictions for my Libras for the month of June 2022, please. Let's see what comes out of here, guys. Predictions for my Libras for the month of June 2022, Spirit Guides. Thank you. One more shuffle. Yeah, some of you guys could be going through some sort of ending here, uh, some sort of loss of money um, giving up here, feeling defeated. But let's see. Feeling stabbed in the back is what I want to say. Spirit guides, please give me predictions for my Libras for the month of June 2022. I feel like there's money coming your way though. I feel like you guys have gone through an ending here. Uh, we have Pisces, we have Aries here, Sagittarius, uh, Earth, Water, Air. I feel like you guys are really trying to use your logic this month towards um, some sort of opportunity. Um, even at work, I feel like there's some sort of uh, possibly a job opportunity um there's something involving a new opportunity coming in that is going to pay off or it's going to give you more money here some of you guys are just using your logic in for money this month as well um if you're dealing with someone again i feel like this person uh what Somebody that you're connected to, whether it's in love, whatever the case may be. Um, I feel like this person has lost some sort of control here or is losing control this month. And it's it's like it's coming to an end, I feel, with the Ten of Wands. I feel like this person's been burden burdening you for quite some time here. Some of you guys are ending a friendship this month, or you're reevaluating whether or not you should end a friendship this month. There's something about having to make a decision here and using your logic to, in order to make this decision so that your life can balance out this month. Some of you guys are remaining very patient um, for some sort of income that's coming in for you guys. Or you're remaining patient to see if you're going to receive um, some sort of increase at work. Some, new, some sort of uh, new opportunity. 
whether it's whether it's even in love it doesn't have to be about work i'm i'll try to make it as general as i can there's something about um seeing something as an illusion here fantasizing something here let's see spirit guides tell me about the moon card we have the five of wands here I feel like there's some sort of argument I feel like something to do with love was all just an illusion here and there's something about having to fight for this or something about even uh, other competitors could even be at work. Something about competition. Clarify the judgment card, spirit guides. Reevaluating if you truly want something here. Whatever that may be, a job, a person, a friendship. Reevaluating how much effort you want to put into something this month. Clarify the Three of Cups in Reverse Spirit Guides. Ace of Wands here. Some of you guys could be ending some sort of uh, uh, friend zone. And some of you guys could have ended a friendship or or it or are ending a friendship this month. But there's something about giving this person a second chance. Something about a second chance here with a friend, whether it's in love, maybe somebody that you were friends with or just, you know, something platonic, maybe just like an actual friend. But giving them a second chance here. Clarify the Ten of Wands spirit. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse here. Yeah, there's some sort of ending coming. Some ending that you 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 just you can no longer hold onto this anymore. Like it's a it's more of a burden than anything. It's making you or it's made you feel so unhappy here. Clarify the temperance card, spirit guides. Yeah, two of cups. For those of you that are uh, completely single, it's like you guys, um, I feel like there's somebody coming in for you guys. Um, I feel like the feelings are going to be mutual. This could be a past person or somebody doesn't have to be an ex. I don't feel like it's an ex, but it could be somebody that you already know of. It could also be somebody brand new. Clarify if this is somebody brand new, Spirit Guys, with the Two of Cups. Could be. Could be somebody that you, you already know of. It's like you've remained so patient. But I feel like something along the lines, like the feelings are mutual. You're going to reconnect with this person. There's something about uh, taking some sort of control and reconnecting with someone this month. Let's clarify one more. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles Spirit Guides. King of Wands in reverse and the Six of um, Wands. I feel like whatever income is coming in for you guys or whatever job offer or whatever new opportunity an investment, um, it's going to turn out uh, victor victorious for you. It's going to turn out very successful for you guys. I feel like you guys were possibly being a bit cautious here. You were holding back a bit. Again, it could mean anything. I'm going to get um, two cards from your angels to finish this reading up. Spirit guides, please give my Libras two cards for advice for this month regarding this reading. Thank you.
These cards may or may not resonate with you, these angel cards. So let's see what your angels want to say to you. <clears throat> oh, look what just came out. Opportunity and wait. I told you there's some sort of opportunity coming in for you guys. And that's what your angels are telling you. There's a big opportunity coming in for you guys this month. And there's something about wait. Wait. Your angels are telling you to wait. Whatever that means to you. That's what I have for you, Libras. Hope this reading resonates with you. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if this resonates with you, feel free to drop me a comment down below and to give me your feedback. I truly appreciate it. Thanks.